This isn't a shark, it's an Atlantic bluefin tuna. Eight species of tuna exist worldwide, but they aren't all the same. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is one of the largest and fastest marine animals. They're not the tuna you find in cans, but the ones you eat at the restaurant or sushi bar. Some say they're the perfect machine. Indeed, they have unique hearts that can adapt very quickly and easily to very wide ranges of temperatures and depths. They never close their eyes, never stop moving, and they sleep while swimming. They can weigh up to 900 kilos, which is heavier than a horse. Every year, thousands of bluefin tunas migrate from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean to breed in warmer waters. This is when the WWF tagging mission starts. o cuatro años ya haciendo unas jornadas de marcaje en Moraira y bueno pues a mí me apasiona yo estoy fascinado por el atún rojo el atún rojo para mí es el pez más más atractivo del mundo el pez más grande el pez más fuerte el que mejor huele y el que el que mejor y más me gusta pescar Bluefin tuna has been fished sustainably for thousands and thousands of years. But then the 80s and 90s uh, appeared, and then you know a lot of increase in demand from the Japanese sushi and sashimi market happened. And then this what uh, caused was an increase in overcapacity of the fleets. But there was a lack of control, so all this led to a lot of illegal fishing. So really, what happened? It was an obvious uh, decline in the population of bluefin tuna. By 2008, the situation was critical. Uh, we were about to lose an iconic species for the Mediterranean Sea, so that's why WWF decided to start leading a project of tuna tagging in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, by doing so, we were going to be learning much more about this species, and therefore we were going to be able to manage it more properly and protect it better. So basically what we do is like an adventure. We go on board uh, one of the fishing vessels, we wait for the tuna to strike and then once it strikes we have to have all the equipment uh, already uh, disinfected. When the tuna gets on board we have to put a cloth on its eyes, some salty water in its mouth so it keeps breathing and at the same time because of the cloth it relaxes it a lot. So then once all this is done uh, we deploy the tag it's like a piercing basically, we put it underneath the dorsal fin, uh, then we measure it, we take a little piece of fin for future DNA analysis and then we release it. The type of data that the tag records is depth, light and temperature and then, you know, from this we can estimate the trajectory of the, of the bluefin tuna. Uh, one, for example, it's a very amazing tuna that we tagged this year in May in Morocco. Then it went into the Mediterranean Sea, then it went out, and three months later, you know, in August, in mid-August, it, it appeared in the, near the Arctic uh, Circle. So that's showing you, you know, how amazing this uh, species can be. Bluefin tuna is one of the most incredible marine species on Earth. We need to do everything to ensure it fully recovers and is no longer overfished and illegally fished. Follow the Atlantic Bluefin tuna and help us ensure its future. Visit 
www.panda.org slash tuna.